Gemini couples, this video is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is your reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot from the week of Saturday, March 10th, until next Saturday, March 17th. Hello everyone, my name is Angela. So this is a general reading. Everything may not resonate with everyone, including details, including the outcome. So please keep that in mind when listening to your reading. And uh, feel free to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you need it. And if you're not sure how to calculate those, there is a link below. There are several links below in the description box that will lead you to websites that will um, calculate those for you. So Gemini, keep in mind that anything I say in this reading can go vice versa. This could apply to you, it could apply to your partner. It could apply to someone else that's playing out in this scenario. So I'm seeing that things fizzled out passionately between the two of you. And someone is feeling like they're wasting their time. There could be spying or there could be this immature communication. And someone is just tired of carrying all the burden in this relationship. Someone may be feeling like they're they're doing everything as far as keeping the relationship alive. There could be an Aquarius involved or an Aries with the Empress, Aries Taurus. Um, someone's losing hope in this situation and someone's feeling taken for granted. Someone doesn't feel nurtured. They don't feel loved by their partner any longer. And... Someone's overly emotional. Someone just doesn't know how to handle it. Or someone could be flying off the handle and then going, uh, resorting to drinking. There could be a Scorpio involved. It looks like the situation may be coming to an end. And I feel like there's someone that's kind of fighting the ending. All right, I'm seeing that there could be travel. There could be some type of success that you have in business. Maybe there could be a job loss and a job gain. Um, I'm seeing that you are coming out of this period of, what is this? You, yeah, someone has already decided that they would not give this relationship a second chance due to trickery and a three-party situation. Things became unstable between you and this person and someone has regrets about the past regrets about the relationship or regrets about how things played out between the two of you but I'm seeing someone is dwelling on the past okay so right now things are up in the air you've lost confidence in this person you're tired of being in this state of mind where you're constantly thinking about the situation it's constantly rolling around in your mind you're not getting any peace You're having sleepless nights thinking about this. Because you felt like this person was your soulmate and you're slowly coming to realize that this is not the person that you thought that they were. I'm seeing someone is coming out to someone is coming out with a confession. And so someone could have been dragging their feet in this situation for quite some time. There could also be a Pisces involved. Seeing that someone's coming your way and you could be blindsided by this person because they're coming in quickly and they have something to say to you. And this person could be a Virgo. But yeah, this person has been in and out of your life probably over the years. And uh, they've been hemming and hawing about making a decision about who they want to be with because I'm seeing this is a, there's a third party attached to the situation. So, someone's coming forward to express their love. There could be a third, like, it could be the third party that's coming forward to, to confess their love or profess their love. I feel like someone's hanging on to the situation. You got another three. See so you got three, three, and three. You have three threes here. Three here. Three of Pentacles, 
and then three people in this card. Someone's been dealing with someone else. So that's where that profession of love is coming from. Someone's had a reunion with someone from the past. Or they're talking about having a reunion. Someone has come forward to express their love with someone that they've dealt with in the past. And someone wants a reunion. And so I'm seeing a breakup coming forward. Someone's releasing this relationship because they can't stop thinking about an ex, it looks like. This could be someone that someone ha that you, your partner has children with or you have children. See that? They're walking away. Someone is leaving this situation behind and they're walking away. And then this person has been emotionally unavailable um, as it is because the, someone has doubts about this relationship. Someone was trying to keep this this um, side person, this ex, a secret, but someone found out about what was going on. They found out about the trickery and lies. You could have found some type of a text message, email, social media message, something that clued you in that something was going on with someone else. Because you could tell that your partner was starting to act different. He or she wasn't being their normal selves. Someone could have been spending a lot of time at work to try to evade the situations that were going on at home. So when it was time to talk about things, that person was just MIA. So that confession that I talked about, that's going to be someone coming forward to confess that they're in love with someone else. And that's going to cause someone to lose their mind. They're going to come unglued. Okay, this could cause some type of self-esteem issue where someone loses confidence. They question their self-value as a result because things are not happy at home. And so it could be that, you know, I'm seeing resentment and we have the chariot, the zodiac sign of cancer, and then the high priestess, cancer as well. Strong cancer influence here. Yeah, and then Libra with the justice card in reverse. Someone has decided, you know what, it's not worth the risk. It's not me, worth me putting my heart on the line any longer because every time I do, my heart gets trampled. Could be what you're feeling. So like I said, you've lost hope. And you're feeling like things aren't going your way anyway. You're, you've summed it up in your head and you've, you've, you've come to terms that you're not going to get a favorable outcome with this situation. Because I feel like... Someone's trying to get victory over someone. I feel like this, this third party, like I said, they're not a secret. You know, the jig is up. Someone found out what was going on. But yeah, I feel like someone's aim was to get victory over the other one. They wanted to win at this third party situation. And so since this person realizes that they haven't won, they've got resentment and jealousy. And yeah, you saw it coming because this person was sneaky and cunning. They were covert. And you also saw it coming because things had fallen apart and become unglued between you and this person. And you felt like giving up. So someone was despondent. They wanted to give up on the relationship, but someone was still hanging in there. One of you was still trying to hang in there to fix things. Because like I said, one of you wanted a victory over the other one. This was like... I'm not saying that someone doesn't love the other one, but someone like feels like this person is like a prize or, you know, someone's so in their ego that they're more concerned about winning this person at any cost, even if it costs their own self-esteem. So here it is. Pay attention to the red flags. Of course you would, because this person is the seven of swords. The red flags were written all over this situation and they were very clear. There was nothing vague about this. So I'm seeing someone has these feelings of true love with someone else. And you could have known about it. You know, this was an ex that they released in the past. You could, this is a general reading. So you could have known this person 
or known of them. Finances and career could play a part in your relationship. There could be some type of financial situation or job situation that changes. So someone is leaving to heal some type of family situation that they have with someone else. And so, yeah, those text messages, those um, social media messages that you may have come across, this is you realizing that they've been having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations about rekindling things codependency or addictions I'm seeing alcohol someone is overindulging in alcohol and I feel like there's someone that says some very painful words when you know after they've had a drink or two because I'm seeing argument and arguments and a lot of discord Holy Spirit show me Gemini couples Sun Moon Rising and Venus Okay, Holy Spirit, show me Gemini. Gemini couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs from this weekend into next weekend. Gemini couples. Okay, so here it is. Like I said, there's a confession that someone wants to start fresh because they feel like they would get a victory elsewhere. And someone has, has completely washed their hands of the situation. And they've been planting seeds. You know, they've been throwing in their little sneaky and slide comments. Or sly comments, I'm sorry. And maybe you thought they were joking. Thought they were kidding. What they were saying could have been a, a, a low blow to you. All right, they could have threatened, you know, if you don't do this or if you do that, I'm leaving to go back with such and such. So this person is no longer just talking and bluffing. Someone is actually taking action into the situation. I'm so seeing that someone is going to decide to go with the flow or leave. Like, look, there could be some type of travel. But someone is leaving a situation. It's not all talk. So proceeding softly. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. This is you taking some time out. Taking a time out from the situation to sum things up and think about what it is that you want. Yeah, I see that. Someone's flying free. Again, possible travel. But it looks like, yeah, someone's leaving. They want freedom from this situation. They felt stifled and stuck. And someone feels like this is the best thing that they could do for themselves, which is letting go. Or vice versa. This is the best thing for you because you are letting go of someone that, you know, their heart and their mind are not here with you. And you're cherishing yourself by letting this person go. You're not trying to hold them back. You're releasing them. Because you know what's coming toward you is going to be very valuable and very lucrative. Cultivating prosperity. Yeah, so with your career, of course, you've been planting seeds. And of course, what comes into that is reaping, harvesting. So this is basically saying someone is reaping what they've sown. Justice. In reverse, someone was on the wrong side of justice. So someone is about to reap what they've sown. So if someone did reap on the positive side of this situation, here comes positivity. If not, you know. So following your bliss. This is you leaving behind a situation. It could even be a work, relation, work situation. So yeah, you're renewing your life. You're, rid you're ridding your life of useless clutter. This could even be mental clutter. This could be moving, relocating, packing your bags, leaving, you know, throwing away things, alleviating things and people that are not necessary in your life any longer. This includes mindsets, people, situations that don't deserve your time and attention. So here it is, karma. 
She's coming in to be fair. She's coming in to balance the scales. And someone can be very by the book, very demanding, wanting things done their way, and or trying to control or manipulate the situation to keep someone from leaving. You know, I'm feeling like someone's trying to keep someone stuck because they don't want them to leave. But I'm seeing that someone is letting it go. They're, they're starting fresh. They want a new life with someone that they dealt with in the past. And see that? I, I, I didn't... I knew that you knew. This wasn't something that caught you off guard. You already knew what was going on. I feel like you may even know who this person is and you knew, well, you did know because maybe some of you found that text message or that email or that social media message that proved to you that this person was dealing with their ex. So this is you praying for clarity praying for that courage to surrender this relationship and let it go because you've been going around and round in circles with this person and you've been getting nowhere. So once you let go of this person, I'm seeing that there's a, a strong possibility for blessings to come in, but I feel like there's some type of hindrance or obstacle to blessings right now because someone is holding on. So there's a need to surrender and let go. Gemini couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Someone's trying to manifest something. Someone's realizing their ability to manifest the magician in the mirror. But this is also to me trickery. Someone's bringing you the smoke and mirror, the smoke and mirror act. You know, causing you to think that they really care or that they're really invested in this relationship when they're really not. Because it's evident here that someone's not willing to, to fully invest or take a risk in this situation. So this leaves someone in this scenario feeling broken hearted. And see that? Here comes those emotions. Someone is an emotional wreck when they drink. And so, like I said, I feel like someone is going to lose their mind when they hear or see about what really happened. Like I said, someone may have thought you were bluffing in the beginning, but when someone actually, they're not, you know, they take action by packing their bags, taking their stuff and leaving. I feel like this is when someone is finally going to realize that this person is gone. Which isn't bad because you this is it's time for you to renew your life and start fresh as well. Bringing balance and harmony in your life with the yin and yang symbol there. So, yeah. This is going to stir up a lot of emotion with someone once they find out what's going on. But see, you have the ability to control your emotions and get grounded, but not if you're in this state of mind where, you're, where there are addictions involved. So yeah, some of you may, this may bring you closer to your higher power because you may be leaning on your higher power to let go and come to terms with the situation. You do have some type of... Um, financial door opening for you, whether this is career or this is um, some type of unexpected financial gain. All right, because this could have been a situation where you there was a, a loss of finances. You could have depended on this person financially, but I'm seeing that things are going to stabilize for you financially. Okay, this is you letting go of a job opportunity due to the fact that people in your job are shady and conniving and this is you walking away letting that go going into um, a work situation doing work that you love so yeah there's definitely a need to listen to that intuition your intuition or life is leading you into a new cycle so this is giving you an opportunity to look at things differently and then you have a woman with a coin in other words queen of pentacles working, securing your future, okay, because there could have been a loss in security, okay, with the justice in reverse and the hierophant in reverse, someone's talking about divorce, 
But like I said, this person is not just all talk, right? They're taking action. So they could be contacting the attorney. And when you hear of this, this could deliver the blow. But if you're in court fighting over child support or alimony, I'm saying that you win, that it plays out in your favor. But yeah, Gemini, I'm saying that, yeah, you're tired of going around in circles like a dog chasing its tail and you are coming to terms with the situation and you are moving on to this new life as well. Because, you know, the saga continues and you're, you're tired of dealing with things the way that they are. It could be a three-party situation. Someone likes the attention of other people. Not only do they like that attention, they're acting on, you know, capitalizing on those opportunities with other people who are willing to be capitalized upon. Otherwise, in other words, someone's cheating. All right. Hostilities. So, yeah, there's been arguments between the two of you and someone is in love, but not here. Love doesn't live here anymore in this situation. Now, as far as your career is concerned, there's going to be many different doors, many options that are opened up for you. Okay, some of you could be signing contracts. This could be a contract ending for the job or a contract beginning. This could also be an ending of a marriage contract. Because I'm seeing that someone's letting go. They're flying solo. And someone has the strength to be able to do it. Because someone is coming forward to admit that their love is with someone else. Yeah, and so they're stepping into this new life. But so are you. <sighs> Maybe this is what simplifying your life is about. Because this is someone that was bringing nothing but drama. So them walking away actually simplifies things for you. No more worries, no more anxiety, no more frustration, not, you know, no, no more staying up at night worrying about whether, you know, where, but where this person's whereabouts are, whether or not this person is cheating on you or not. You don't have to lay in bed thinking about that anymore. You're letting it go. You're surrendering it. And you're realizing that this is the best thing for you. So, yeah, this was a situation that caused you to question your beauty and self-worth because I'm seeing that someone has this history of self-sabotage what could be what this round and round is about someone may have this past of crashing down their relationships or messing up jobs because they don't know how to be honest they don't know how to, to, to go about doing things the honest and fair way and so that's why karma is sneaking up and she's taking a hold of the situation and she's bringing things to a stop. Someone has been procrastinating, maybe pro procrastinating leaving a situation or admitting something. Now, the issue is that you thought this was your soulmate. Soulmates are not limited to just being a romantic partner. You can have friends that are soulmates. You can have um, you know, other people that enter your life, soulmates are not strictly romantic, but I feel like you thought this was your soulmate, but you thought this was your life partner. And so I'm saying that someone had this mixed up. So one of the lessons here is about self-love and self-love means that you let go of someone that hurts you over and over again and brings in this situation where you are questioning your self-worth and your self-value. So you're renewing your life. You're renewing your mind, throwing away clutter, throwing away useless old ways of thinking because even mentally you're starting fresh. So you're giving your life, when, when it says new life, it genuinely means that because you're doing a complete overhaul of your life. You're, you're, you're releasing circumstances and people and mental conditions that were keeping you bound and stuck, including this. 
So that's what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, and this. Because envy only leads to self-sabotage because it's a low vibrational energy. All right? That codependency was leading you to self-sabotage. And maybe you didn't realize it until you opened yourself up and now you're enlightened and you 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 are able to see things clearly. You're meditating. You're finding the answers. You're, you're seeing things from a different perspective now. You know, letting go of old mindsets. So that's what I'm seeing for you this week, Gemini couples. So this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can go directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also reach out to me on the Instant Go app. And I am available on the Instant Go app by text only. So everyone, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.